God, please, please help me lose my virginity to this girl. I don't want to be gay. Hey, what's up, guys? So this is a crazy story. It happened when I was 19 years old and I was still a virgin at that time. Back then, I was very confused about my sexuality. I felt the attraction to guys, but I didn't accept it. I thought it was wrong and I thought that God would punish me. My parents were very religious and I was raised to believe that being gay is one of the worst things in the world. And I was hoping that my attraction to guys was just a phase and that in time it will go away. But as I got older, not only it didn't go away, but things got more complicated because now people started asking questions. How come you don't have a girlfriend? Everyone would ask me that. My family, my friends, my colleagues, the cashier at the supermarket. Everyone would say, you are so handsome. How come you don't have a girlfriend? I hated that question. It was the worst. Every time I heard that question, I wanted to stick my head in the ground. I was already depressed and I was struggling with my sexuality. I didn't need everyone to pressure me and they only made things worse. And now I was worried because people were becoming more and more suspicious. And I was worried that my family was gonna find out that I'm gay. So I got a girlfriend. And in the beginning, it was okay because you know, things are simple. You go on dates, you eat good food, you kiss, you hold hands. Everyone can do that. But after dating for one month, I felt like she wanted more, if you understand what I mean. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Because I felt no attraction to her. Let me make this clear. Up until that point, or no, actually this point, this moment right now, no woman that I met or that I saw on TV or in triple X movies or regular movies has ever made me feel excited. Not even one woman. And I thought about it. Is it possible for me to be intimate with my girlfriend without feeling any attraction? Well, there was only one way to find out. I had to try it. And my birthday was coming up in three weeks. I was turning 19. And I thought, this is perfect. This is the moment. So I made a plan. I decided to throw a big party in the club with all of my friends and of course my girlfriend. And at the end of the night, I'm gonna try to lose my virginity to her. If it works out, great. If not, I can tell her that I feel sick because I will be drinking, it's my birthday. So the big day comes, the party was amazing. Everyone came, there were like 30 people there. We danced, we had drinks, it was so much fun. By the way, this took place in Romania. And over there, at the age of 18, it's legal to go to the club and to drink alcohol. Here's a picture of me from that night. <laughs> My skin color looks a little bit different because back then I was addicted to tanning beds. I was looking like one of those Jersey Shore guys. <laughs> So after drinking and partying till 5 in the morning, everyone was ready to go home. And I invited my girlfriend to my house. I'm not going to give a lot of intimate details, but I'm going to say this. I tried everything. I cuddled with her. I kissed her. I put my hands on her. She put her hands on me. The whole process lasted like one hour. So I didn't rush. I took my time and I was hoping for the magic to work, but nothing. There was no excitement down there, zero excitement. And she was a gorgeous, beautiful girl, smart girl, straight A student, worked as a model. All of my friends wanted her, except for me. But like I said, I never felt attraction to any woman, girl ever. So it wasn't her fault, it was my fault. And I tried. I wanted this to happen so bad. I remember thinking that night, God, please, please help me lose my virginity to this girl. I don't want to be gay. Now I'm okay with my sexuality. That's why I'm making this video, but you have to understand, growing up, 
all I heard about gay people is that they are sick, they are crazy, and many other bad names. And I didn't want people to look at me that way. And I didn't want to lose my family and my friends. I was scared. So going back to that night, I tried. And she tried, but nothing. And I felt awkward. She probably felt awkward. So I just stopped and I said, I'm sorry. I feel sick from the alcohol. That was a good excuse and the easiest way for me to get out of it without her thinking that I'm gay and without her feeling like she did something wrong. So we went to bed. The next day we acted normal. And after two weeks, I broke up with her because I was afraid that if we do this again, she's gonna realize that I'm gay. And for a long time, I was in the closet. I was hiding. I was lying to people that I see a lot of girls, but no, I was just hiding in my room. It was a lonely time for me. And I came out of the closet a couple of years later when I moved to America. When I was finally on my own, I was independent, I was working. I said to myself, it's my life. I don't want to hide or force myself to be with any woman ever again. It's very hard for a gay guy to do that. Trust me. And 10 years later, I got in touch with her, with my ex-girlfriend. I wanted to tell her the truth because I remember she cried when I broke up with her. And believe me, my heart was crying too. I remember thinking, I wish I could tell you the truth, but I can't. She cried because I think she was in love with me. We knew each other since we were little kids. Our parents knew each other. So she probably thought that I was the perfect guy and I broke her heart. But what was I supposed to do? I didn't have a choice. But 10 years later, I had a choice and I wanted to make things right. And I told her, I'm sorry I broke up with you, but I was gay. I've always been gay and it's not your fault. And I'm sorry if I hurt you. And we became friends. Now she is married and she has a kid and I'm happy for her. At least I didn't waste her time and she found the right guy. I know many women who married gay guys and it's not a good situation. They wasted 10, 20 years of their lives until they realized that their husbands are gay. And you can't blame the gay husbands either because they were probably scared to come out of the closet. Especially 20, 30 years ago, gay people were tortured. They were beaten to death. And it's not easy to come out when you know that you will lose your family, your friends, your job. So you can't blame them for hiding who they are. If anyone is to blame, is the mentality, the society. Someone saying, I don't love you because you are gay, because you are black, because you are fat, because you have green eyes, brown eyes. It's not okay. We have to accept that we are all different, physically, mentally, but the core is the same. We are all human beings. And we all want one thing, to love and to be loved. That's all for today. I hope you have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye.